हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैव एंड सब्सक्राइब टू इट येट नाउ लेट्स सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम इंजीनियरिंग डायनामिक्स इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी आर गिवन दैट वी आर आस्क्ड दैट डिटरमाइन द एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ द ब्लॉक्स व्हेन द सिस्टम इज रिलीज्ड एंड द कोफिशिएंट ऑफ काइनेटिक फ्रिक्शन इज म्यू के एंड द मास ऑफ ईच ब्लॉक इज एम एंड इट इज सेड दैट नेगलेक्ट द मास ऑफ द पुलीज एंड द कार्ड्स राइट so both the block has a mass of m and we are required to find the acceleration of both the blocks right so first of all since both the uh, blocks are tied together with the help of this rope so if we release this system right so if this block a will move downwards then what will happen is that this block b will move with the same acceleration right if this block a is moving with a an acceleration in the downward direction right so then this block will be moving with acceleration in towards the left right so from this we can say that the acceleration uh, of block a in the downward direction will be equal to the acceleration of block b in towards the left right so if i define my coordinate system for block b so let's say that this is my positive x uh, direction and this is my positive y direction right so and similarly uh, for block a this is my positive x and y coordinates right so the acceleration of block a in the negative y direction is equal to a and similarly the acceleration of block b in the negative x direction is a right now we will consider both the the free body diagrams of both the blocks right so let's say if i isolate uh, this block a from block b right so then here we will have that tension since the rope is continuous right and it is rigid so the tension in both the at here will be equal to t and here it will also be equal to t right so the tension will remain the same right and the weight of this block a will be acting vertically downward right so this is m g right similarly uh, there will be a normal force which will be acting on this block b from the surface this is the normal force and its weight will be acting downwards and that weight is also equal to mg since mass of both the the blocks are same and that is equal to m right and since this block b will move towards the negative x axis so that what will the friction do is that it, the friction will resist its motion right so the friction will be acting towards the positive x axis and that will be equal to mu k n right so now if we consider the free body diagram of block b and if we apply the equation of kinetics right so if i apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 for block b right so if we apply the summation of forces along y uh, equals to m k y right so since the block is only accelerating along the x axis so the ay acceleration is zero so this will be equal to zero right so now as we can see that this n is acting in the positive y direction so i have to write n and that mg is acting in the negative y so i have to write minus mg and this will be equal to zero or we can say that n is equal to the weight of block b right similarly if i apply the summation of forces along x equals to m a x right so the acceleration of both the blocks will remain the same right the acceleration of block b along the x axis is will be equal to a a x will be equal to a and similarly the acceleration of block a in the y direction is equal to a right the acceleration of both the block will remain the same right so now we can say that if we apply the summation of forces along x then as we can see that this t is acting in the uh, negative x direction so i have to write minus t plus this mu, this friction force this kinetic friction which is acting in the positive x direction so i have to write mu k and and as we know that n is equal to mg right so i have to write mu k mg equal to this m a x right so i have to write m a x and a x is equal to a right so i have to write a so now from this this is let's say equation 
right now let's say if i apply the equation of kinetics for block a if i apply the summation of forces along y equals to m a y and the a y for block a is equal to that same acceleration right so now as we can see that this t is acting in the positive y so i have to write plus t minus that weight mg and this will be equal to m a y and a y is equal to a right so now from this equation i can write that t equals to uh, uh, m a plus m g right and now if I substitute this T in equation 1, right, so equation 1, we can write equation 1 is, this is minus T, so I have to write in place of minus T this thing, right, so minus MA plus MG plus mu K MG, right, so I will write mu K MG and this will be equal to MA. So now if I multiply this negative sign so this will become minus ma and this will become minus mg and now if i divide this whole equation by mass so this will cancel out uh, this mass will cancel out this will cancel and this will cancel out and this will cancel out right so we will be left with minus a minus g and this mu kg right and this will be equal to acceleration so now if I bring this minus a to the other side of equation, so this will become plus a, right, and that will become 2a. And now if I take g common from both of these terms, right, so that will be g. Uh, if I take minus g common, so then this will be 1 minus mu k. equals to 2a and if I divide both sides of equation by 2 so this will cancel out and we will be left with acceleration equal to uh, minus g into 1 minus mu k divided by 2 right so this will be the acceleration of both the blocks in terms of mu k and g right and now as we can see that the acceleration is negative right this acceleration is negative so this means that the the acceleration for block A is in the negative x direction. This negative sign indicates that for block A, this same acceleration will be in the negative direction. And for block, uh, this is for block B, right? And for block A, again we have negative sign, so it is accelerating in the negative uh, y direction. So again we have that negative sign. So this is the acceleration for both the blocks which was required. So, I hope you people would have understood the solution of this uh, particular problem. Kindly like this video if you people want me to solve such more problem from engineering dynamics. Also, subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet.